right? Like, yeah. you come here in June and play linebacker. Yeah. By November, you're playing defensive end. Yeah. Kevin Wilson wants you to play tight end. <laughs> Is running back in the future? Like, <laughs> I wish. What do you do? Like, how hard does this make a freshman season? Uh, it made it, to be honest with you, it made it a little easier for me because I haven't having something you can go week by week and look forward to getting better at. That's the biggest. I mean, when you know, when you can watch the film, whether, whatever you're doing, you, you can watch the film and be like, I mean, that's what I got to work on tomorrow. You, you take part, bits and pieces and just try and get better every day. So it's made, I mean, it's made it more of a, it's made it more enjoyable and more, you don't know what's coming next, really. We talked at Rutgers when you played defensive end for the first time, but I know that we joked about Coach Mick being able to finally let the reins <laughs> off of you a little bit and let you go. Has, have things changed workout-wise, diet-wise in the last month and a half? Uh, not so much. Just since we're still in season, I think, I think I mean, once when a workout starts, I think that's when it's really going to get. Has he given you an idea of where he wants things uh, to he go? He said shoot for about like 250 right now, and then we'll go. We'll get stronger at that and then see what your body does from now Have on. you struggled to like maintain top-end speed, or is there, anything, is there anything you're sacrificing in the next six months while you're trying to learn a position and change your body? Not really, to be honest with you. I mean, I have, I mean, Coach Mick, he's the best in the world. So, I mean, I trust what he's going to tell me and go from there. You are a kid from Ohio who is from a small town, farm town, basically. Does that sort of geographic uh, breakdown, I guess, make a place like Clemson more appealing to kids like you from Ohio that are maybe not city guys? Uh, I mean, I guess for some people it would. I mean, that's why, I mean, you take your trips, you go, I mean, you see what you want to fit yeah. in at. But, I mean, other than that, I mean, it comes down to the people that you're going to be around. And, I mean, here, there's no question that, uh, I mean, the people here are second to none. Was there interest from you at all in, in Clemson? I'm trying to figure out why guys keep going to Ohio State, Clemson, Georgia, Alabama, despite knowing that you're uh, going to come here and maybe early, not play. Early in, early in the uh, early recruiting process there was, but then I kind of... I just never really, I just wouldn't, I could never see myself there, to be honest with you. So, I mean, then after that, they kind of, they backed off and the recruiting just wasn't, wasn't the same, so we kind of lost relationship there. As you now head into this offseason, obviously you're not, no matter what happens, you're probably not playing this weekend, so. Yeah, no. <laughs> what, um, what are the two or three things about transitioning to defensive end that you have found are the biggest pieces for you? Uh, using your hands is definitely the biggest one, and you get off and how fast you can read and diagnose what's going on. Is being like a basketball player, has that helped you transition to yeah. playing in that tighter space? Yes, that's what, I mean, that's what, I. you know me, I always go back to, I, mean, right. I think basketball has helped me more than almost some football games did. It's because how you, I mean, learning to move like that and doing your thing, I mean, because beating a tackle is a lot like beating somebody yeah. in the post, right? In basketball, I mean, playing defense, I mean, you move your hips, move your feet, so that helps. I mean, you just got to learn how to transition and take that to playing defense. Has there been, uh, uh, probably not, but last before you got to Ohio State spring game, you met Sam Hubbard. Yeah. <laughs> Has there been any conversation with Sam? Have you talked to him since because yeah, of, I mean, because of the transition that he made from safety to linebacker? Yeah, I mean, I act like so during like during camp he reached out. I, I think I reached out to him and be like, hey, like, you know, yes. like during camp, like, what do you expect? Yes. Like, what's going to go on? You know what I mean? Thank yeah. You and we talked then, and then when I moved defensive end, we talked again, and then we probably yeah. talk. I mean, once every month, once every two months or so. Yeah. What was his advice to you about moving down? Just work. I mean, just keep working. He said, I mean, Coach Shea's going to just learn and trust what Coach Shea's teaching and take me to the field as much as he can. Did he <laughs> offer up that he was reluctant to move at all, or I mean, because uh, well, he did far. play tight end. Yeah, that's what he said. Uh, but he didn't get that far in depth or anything. So I mean, it was it was just it was good to have a mentor like that, and him and Coop have really been help help with us. Is that one of the reasons that Ohio State it was felt like the right spot because you know that there's guys all over the place that you can reach out to? Yeah, and I mean, not even that. You just know why. I mean. Regardless of, I mean, whether you're, regardless of what position you're playing, I mean, you got Coach Mick, you got the yeah. best strength staff in the country. So, I mean, you're excited, you're excited to see what your body's going to do in that situation and feel, I mean, just feel out what's going to go from there on out. Did you get mom spaghetti last week? Thanks for watching. Subscribe below to get the latest videos from Letterman Row. We got Letterman Live, we've got the practice report, we got rapid reaction. Hey, and you know we got Buckeye Key with Zach Bourne. For sure. We got recruiting breakdowns with Berm, we got whatever you need. Ohio State football and Ohio State athletics, we've got you covered here at Letterman Row.